Hello everyone, welcome back to more Super Auto Pets. Um, I don't have anything especially fancy to say about this. We're just gonna play, I don't know. People people are liking these videos and it's a fun game, so I'm gonna keep playing for now since it's getting at least like 10 times as many views as anything else I make. Um, what do we buy here? Like, Duck is fine. It's kind of a more of an investment because we'll probably lose round one if we take like a duck. But then we can get a good, you know, round two and three or something when we sell it. So that's a possibility. Pig is also fine. Like, it's no fish, but you get more gold. So it's another kind of investment. I think I'll take pig and duck and roll for something else. I hate cricket. Oh my god. Look at these ducks, guys. Um, I mean, ant... Ant is strong, right? It is, it is the kind of animal that might help you not lose round one. But I think I'm losing round one anyway, right? If only I hadn't bought the pig, I could have three ducks. Um, I mean, we could buy ant and freeze the ducks. But then, what am I buying in the next round? Like, duck, duck... something? Which is hopefully a duplicate of either pig or... ant? And then roll and freeze everything? No, I don't have to freeze stuff because I don't, I don't sell the ducks until round... three. Well, maybe I do... Maybe what I do in round two is buy both ducks and then reroll. That leaves me with five, no. Buying both ducks leaves me with four bucks. Reroll leaves me with three. Then I can sell three ducks and I have six. I can buy one good animal and freeze, or buy two good animals and freeze another. I think that works out okay. So I can buy the ant and hope to win a, a match here, unlikely as it seems. I'll be missing out on an early tier three because I won't be combining the ducks. I don't know, maybe I should. Maybe I should combine the ducks and Get only plus two plus two, but get a tier three instead. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> they have this bug again. This bug came up like days ago. Everyone was getting exactly these three team name proposals. Or these these six. And they fixed it, but apparently it's back. Let me let me just pause real quick to report this. Okay, I mean, unsurprisingly, someone's already reported it. Just thought I'd check. Um. We're gonna be the dense hedges, though. Actually, I like vivid mushrooms. There you go. We'll have we'll have another chance in the next episode, probably, to choose from these names. Uh, we might actually not lose this. Nice shot. I'm very happy that happened. Hit the pig. Hit the pig. Hit the pig. Okay, we do lose. But if it hit the pig, I think we win instead of losing, so, eh. Okay, so buy both ducks. And then reroll. It's an ant. Do we like that? I think we like that. Yeah, because now, now I can wait until next round to sell the ducks. It means I'll lose, like, again. Um, but I'm going to have a pretty dope round three, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? Just fast forward me through this. Oh, I'm so dead. Well, I don't know, if we 
Yeah. I mean, how could I possibly win this, right? Yeah, the beaver alone kills me, even with no buffs. Okay, so now the big question is, do we combine the ducks before selling them? We get to look at a tier three, and it'll be one that's plus two, plus two. Downside, we get one fewer dollar. And I don't get plus three, plus three on stuff. I only get plus two, plus two. I think I should not do that. I think I'm, like, fairly happy to get like a big shrimp and a big peacock. The otter kind of sucks. I feel like I don't understand this, this game plan at all, and so I'm not executing it very well. I don't know. I don't really like... Is keeping a shrimp really exciting, like getting a big buff shrimp? I guess it could be. But, like, a tier 3 with plus 3 plus 3 is pretty strong, right? What could that be? Like, a blowfish or something? Camel? Is camel tier 3 or tier 2? I don't remember. The thing is, the otter and the shrimp that we have here are not really what I want long term. Hmm. Here's a thought. What if I freeze the peacock and roll a bit before I sell all these ducks so that I can hit more good animals? I kind of like that. Um, <laughs> I don't think I want another duck. I think it's a little late. The, the rat is interesting. I don't usually go in for rat, but if it were like a 7-8, that would be pretty cool, right? Or I could just combine all of these and give stuff plus two, plus two. I think that's better. Okay, a, a big badger is nice. So now we put the badger at the back, put you at the front. Peacock here? And I could sell pig for duck, <clears throat> but I don't think I will. I could honey up the badger, try to win more games in the short term, but I think I'm already doing well in the short term, and so I don't want to spend money on this badger, who I don't imagine will last forever. And even if he did, a bee would not be that amazing. Okay, I mean, we could try to work on a peacock. It's not amazing in terms of its ability, but the stats are pretty good since we already gave it plus two, plus two. Even another rat? Okay, I mean, really? Yeah, sure. No, I mean, upgrading rat sucks. It just makes the rat that gets summoned even bigger. So the point of this would be to spike a higher tier animal, maybe. I don't think it's really worth spending even a slot on that. I want to see more, like, good animals. Okay, Rat's doing pretty well. Yeah, we got an easy win here. Right? It must be. Yeah. Peacock solos it. Alright, we're finally choosing to start winning some games, hopefully. Peacock is fine. Buying another pig is not really what you want to do.
It's like the point of pig is that you pay three and you get two back. But if you buy two pigs, you've paid three and you're still getting... You've paid six and you're still getting two back. So this pig is like... Yeah, okay, if you buy three of them, you spike a higher level thing and you get like three back instead of two. But it's still very bad investment-wise. I'm just going to grab this peacock. And uh, question... Do I want a sleeping pill on the ant right now? It might be nice to like give something an upgrade, I guess. Free up some space. I don't I'm not really married to any of these animals though. I don't care that much if they get buffed. I think I'm gonna save the ant and try to get him to level two and then pill him, maybe. I will save this though. One of the best foods out there. Use it on turtles, use it on ants. That's about it, I guess. There's some more things, I'm sure, but those are the two most common ones. Hedgehog, like, nah. Okay? Okay? I like swan and peacock. I'm gonna freeze the peacock so the next turn I can spike a level four. And I'm gonna pill the ant after all. Just to make room for a swan. Unless I wanted to sell the pig. But then I'll have too much money even after buying peacock and swan. So I guess I'm getting rid of this ant. Try not to hit the pig, will you? Actually, maybe I should sell the pig just to make sure the ant doesn't hit it. If I did that, I'd have seven bucks. Pill the ant, buy both of these. Yeah, okay. Well, but I don't want to buy this right now. I want to wait until next turn, because I don't, I don't need it. Yeah, okay, so, so sell the pig. Pill the ant. Okay. Buy the swan, and then we do some re-rolling. The peacock must wait, because I want a tier four, I assume. I mean, I could buy it now. It saves me three rerolls, but like. So if I, buy the, if I buy the peacock now, I get to look at a level three now. Which is not that amazing. But I'll have three extra dollars next turn. Whereas if I, if I save the peacock and like reroll a few times, I get to look at some tier twos, which might be useful. Like there's some stuff I could imagine wanting. But probably I'll just, like, not see anything very good. Um, and then I buy the peacock next turn, and I'm down three bucks, but I get to look at a level four. I think it's worth just, like, not buying anything right now. Dodo's not bad. I don't really have any synergies for it, and I don't imagine I'm getting any anytime soon either. Yeah, okay. I mean, Elephant Peacock is cute, but you don't usually need to do much to buff a Peacock. Like, they get enough attack, they just need health, and Elephants kind of ruin that, so... We're gonna roll this, which should be enough in round five still, I think. It's a very big rat. And a decent-sized badger as well. Okay, don't hit the ant, that's all I ask. Okay, I guess hitting the elephant would have been bad, too. Actually, this kind of sucks for me. Like, a lot? I guess I still draw. So, that's too bad. We get another peacock anyway. Oh, that's pretty cool. Skunk. I don't really understand skunk. Like, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. Rabbit can be powerful. I'm kind of like, buy, buy Peacock, buy Badger? Does the Badger really need a buff? Like, am I keeping him forever? Do I want to invest three bucks in this badger? 
kind of investing six, right? Because I'm planning to get into level two. Otherwise, what's the point? Actually, what happens when he levels up? I don't think I've ever seen a level two badger. Badger is level or tier three. Here he is. It's the same. Shouldn't it say doesn't upgrade on level up? Weird. Okay. I don't think I really want to invest any more in that badger. I'm happy, I think, to keep pushing for Peacock because it's a decent sized animal with a decent effect. It's not amazing, but you know, it's helping me win for the moment. Do I want to push for it to get level three? Not especially, but also like, yes, because there's bisons out there, right? No skunks. Okay, I like turtles. Um, and let's put it on the peacock, because that's, that's, that's a snail. That's a turtle. Get out of here, you loser. There we go. I like turtles. Very good. Don't hit the rat? Great, I love that shot. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to have to go through a lot of tutus. Uh, I guess the peacock just clears the sheep and all the rams. Oh no, it was, a, it was a level two? I didn't notice that. Well, rip me, I guess. That dirty rat wins the game for my opponent. What a stupid animal. That's why rat is bad. Even when it's 8-8, eight, eight, it loses you the game. Honey on the badger. Like, do I really want to commit to a badger? I really don't. Shrimp? I don't have space right now. I could sell the badger, I guess, but a lot of stuff that I have is not stuff I want to commit to anyway. Pill of flamingo with an ox in front of or behind it? That's kind of fun. If I get rid of the badger now. Or the rat is even worse, I think. Okay. Look at that duty. All right. Giraffe? Okay. I've definitely overinvested in giraffe in the past, but I still think it's cool. Hedgehog is kind of cute with Peacock, um, but if you put it in front of the Peacock, it just blows the Peacock's melon armor, which sucks a lot, so we're not going to do that. Giraffe. Giraffe. Hmm. Can I actually put the badger in front of the ox? Because it has melon armor, so it'll absorb the damage, and then it'll get more melon armor, right? So we actually get the badger's offensive abilities without worrying about its damaging ourselves. I I'm not sure the order this goes in. Like, does the ox get more melon armor and then the badger deals damage? That would be sad, but I want to find out, so let's see. And it's not like we're endangering a, a really strong run or anything. <laughs> I could have buffed the ox, I guess, but I, I like my peacock. Yay! It worked! So that was kind of fun. Look at this, we have all of the, you know, the, the horse and turkey synergies, but no particular reason to run them. Um, you know, we, um, I mean, 
Sheep and rooster are kind of fun to run in front of ox as well. But I don't really want an ox long term, I don't think. He just like his stats are garbage. The question is, do I like at this point try somehow to pivot into summoning things with rooster and sheep? I don't think that that is really doing anything, and I'll just lose. I think I have to roll some more and try to find something meaningful. I could buy a salad bowl. I don't want to commit to these animals. Ugh, I'm going to lose, so this is going to be a terrible run. Canned food. Okay, that's something I could invest in, I guess. Count on this front line to keep me going for another turn or two and try to buy good animals in the future instead of bad ones. Huh? I mean, this would be a 10-9. be an improvement over a 7-6 for sure. You know, I wasn't planning to buy that badger, but now that he's plus 4, plus 4, it's looking kind of cool. Um, you know, let's freeze him. And roll. I'm giving up one slot here, but I get to look at, like, more animals, right? There's a peacock. Him being buffed doesn't really help, though. Because it just, when, when you combine two animals, it basically gives you the attack that's one more than the largest of them, and the, the health that's one more than the largest of them. So it doesn't really help that the one you're adding is buffed. Uh, I mean, it's probably still worth buying the peacock. But the badger does more now, and I do want to avoid losing the game for no reason. I'll keep the peacock. I don't know. This whole team sucks. I'm going to need the peacock to perform several miracles, I think. Oh, take that, you stupid peacock. How do you like being dead? Isn't this the team I just fought? Oh, he's not dead because of the... The flamingo buff. But okay, we're still fine. A bison. I really want a bison. Because I'm not that far from a level 3 peacock. I could even get it this turn with a few rolls. I think I'm going to do it. And I'm going to sell... Giraffe or swan? I think the giraffe's plus one plus one is going to stop mattering fairly soon. Let's get rid of him. Bison here. And then I have several chances to find a peacock. Easy mode. I didn't even notice. Of course, it's plus four plus four. Nice. Um, wow. I mean, I can sell a swan and buy another one of these, and they're all fairly okay? Like, the rabbit is not okay, uh, and likewise the blowfish. Uh, the word I meant to say, though, was parrot. Um, the parrot could um, copy the bison ability and start buffing himself every turn, right? Or he could copy the monkey ability and start buffing someone else every turn. Although, I can't really fit the parrot and the monkey, I guess. So I think we buy the monkey and just try to get a gigantic bison, as we have done in some previous wins. I guess I could sell the ox. Like, it's, it's only a 6-5 with melon armor. I guess it's helping me keep the badger in front which is kind of a nice place for the badger to be. I think I want the parrot, though. Parrot up this bison? I, I guess I still have the question, do I keep the swan or the ox? 
I think the ox is doing pretty important work in keeping me from losing. I don't know. I have I have these two and the badger now. Like maybe I have to move badger to the back. Where it's slightly less useful, but I should still be in fairly good shape, I think. I don't know, this like why am I so married to this stupid ox? Yeah. Get out of here, you loser. You're not big enough. Badger to the back, parrot here. Okay, seems good. I don't think I really want a monkey. Well, I mean, I could sell the swan for a monkey. It's a pretty sizable buff. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, I. It's not really what I meant to do. Like, those are definitely the buttons that I clicked. I meant to freeze the, the monkey and then sell the swan later. But I sold the swan right away for no reason. Okay, well, that's, that's cool. Kangaroo? No, I don't have room for that. Mm, the elephant is the main threat, I guess, but we should be fine. Yeah, go, go, gadget, peacock. Oh, their peacock's gonna be large, I guess, but who cares? Like, I have a bison and a... and that's it? Alright, so I, I wasted two money by selling that swan last turn instead of not selling it, which is kind of sad. We have a turkey. I don't have any reason to buy a turkey, though, and I don't see one coming up anytime soon, either. I'm, I'm not gonna sell these guys, I'm not gonna sell this guy, so the turkey just can't really synergize with much. So, we buy the canned food. I'm, I am on the lookout for something to replace the badger with. Now that we've got so much canned food, almost anything is bigger than a badger that's only 10-9. But for now, I don't have anything, so this is fine. Um, I don't know. I guess, like, the peacock has melon armor. Let's let him get big buffs. You could try to focus on the bison, make him like 16-16 this turn, for example, but making the, the melon peacock bigger is nice, too. Okay, there are some, <clears throat> some definite options here. We could just buy a 10-12 dolphin and try to use that to, um, like, not get killed by turkey teams or something. Um, alternatively, there is, like, this scorpion. I'm not sure how great an idea that is. It doesn't seem, like, very great, to be honest. We could even giraffe, like, the parrot or something. To try to get him up to speed with our other heavy hitters. Honestly, I don't think any of that is worth doing. Like, yes, selling the badger to buy a dolphin is, a, is, a, is an upgrade. It is better a little bit, probably. But I think I'd rather just roll and, like, hit more bisons and more monkeys and stuff. I said, and hit more bisons and monkeys and stuff. Look at all these giraffes. Crazy. I don't want a chili, I don't think. Yeah. Chocolate we keep? Deer is not really very good. Bison we keep. Okay, we can upgrade the bison if we live to next turn. Do I want a hippo? It's a pretty strong hippo. Better than the badger, question mark, maybe? Like the hippo is better if it lives, obviously. And the badger is better if it doesn't live. 
I don't think it's worth spending a slot or money on. Let's let's try to keep winning just for a little while longer, please. Okay, I'm feeling good about this team. I haven't mathed it all out, but their stats are... Oh, yeah, there is that, huh? Well, no, my peacock is gigantic, though. Oh, not quite enough to go through the camel in one shot. Okay... Yeah, yeah, yeah we're fine. We're fine. Okay, so we... We buy the bison, that's very clear. Now, we can chocolate it immediately, but the other thing we can do is roll. It makes it, like, chocolating it immediately uh, Like, what, what if the next animal I hit is, you know, if I hit a bison or something, right? A bison and a parrot in the next roll, for example. In that case, I would prefer to give the bison to the bison and the chocolate to the parrot, right? Um, so I could roll first, try and, like, cater to that possibility. What I'm sacrificing is I don't get to look at a new food. And, like, the only food I really care about would be... Eh, canned food or chocolate would both be okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say I'll commit to the bison here. Like, I want him to be bigger anyway. Let me get this mammoth, an 812 mammoth. I mean... It's better than the badger, but not by a lot. I don't want to spend money on it right now. Or probably ever. Yeah, I'll just buy some canned food. I think I'm doing fine for the moment. Keep making stuff bigger. When I finally replace this badger, it should be with something good. And this enables me to, like, pivot at some point out of this peacock, maybe. If I get the bison to level 3, I can buy something else. Oh, this is... I don't like this whale thing. Whale Rooster. It's level 3. It's going to summon a level 3 Rooster. I'm going to lose this match, I think. Yeah, I don't I don't have enough to get through this. Well, actually, I do. Oh, no! This guy got buffed. I still win. I still win. If they put the whale and the rooster a bit further back, I might have had some trouble. But putting them in front meant the rooster only got summoned two instead of three. But I think that was what cost them the win there. Okay. I mean, we have some pretty good food options here. We can, like... Oh, man. We can get a pretty good leopard, right? And that might be a good replacement for this guy. So let's see if we buy canned food. I mean, hmm. I want to buy four things. And I can sell two things on the way, right? So that should be okay. Canned food. Sell badger. Buy cow. Buy sushi. Buy cow. Sell cow. Buy leopard. Buff leopard a couple times, right? That all works. Let's do that. Nice, those are the three I wanted to hit. Now, I think we want the leopard to be the one who's getting bigger. Because the bison's going to do okay on his own. 
and the leopard gets extra bonus from his attacks. So, so I like this idea. I wish he weren't in front, but the monkey has to buff him, and he's fine in front, I guess, actually. Okay, good matchup with the uh, with the rooster. Hit something good. Not the rooster. Oh god, what a waste. Oh no. All right, we're still fine though. I think. Oh, this is the same damn team again. Except this time they fixed the chick problem. I think we still win. Yeah. All right, so, I mean, pizza is okay. It's some pretty big buffs. And these are animals that I'm sort of happy to keep pretty much forever. The question is, like, would I be better off rolling for more animals, right? Upgrading any of these is pretty cool. Gives two plus two plus twos, right? Yeah. I think plus two plus two is not that impactful at the moment. Whereas like getting the parrot to level two or the leopard or the monkey to level two would be, well, I don't even know that I care that much about the monkey. Like he's buffing the leopard, which is nice, but there's only a couple rounds left. If I can get something with better stats than the monkey, I should probably do it. And I could, right? I could sell monkey and buy like Ox. You know, he'd be a little better. Because he gets that melon armor and, and a buff. He would be like a 13-15 with melon armor. It's not even that much better than a 9-9, nine -nine, honestly. And this way I get to keep buffing the leopard. I think I'm just going to roll here. Okay. Okay, we can melon up the cheetah, the leopard. That's very good. Should have been the bison, you idiot. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the leopard's fine. Snake? Oh, what does cat do, by the way? Yeah, it's kind of too late for that. Um, crocodile? Instead of monkey? I think that's a definite win. And then I can just, like, cupcake something, honestly. No, really? Plus three, plus three is not that big compared to everything I'm doing. All right, sorry I can't help you anymore, Leopard. But sniping their back line is really good. Hair is not that important. Steak? A big rhino? Instead of the crocodile? Maybe instead of the parrot. It's actually getting a little late for the parrot. Like, he is not buffing himself enough to keep up with the rest of the team, and we've got all this canned food, right? A big rhino in the back can really take care of, um... Like, cleanup duty, right? If if you run into, like, a, a fly team, or, or even turkeys, uh, sorry, not turkeys, roosters, um, rhino is just bananas against rooster, right? Um, he just, like, kills them all for free. Um, so that's a nice little counter pick. But I think the crocodile is fine, and I... Well, I'd rather sell the parrot, honestly, for this rhino. Um, I just wish I could give him melon armor, you know? So maybe I just freeze this. Freeze this. Mm, maybe don't freeze the steak. And you know what? Forget it. Don't freeze this either. I want chocolate, that's what I want. See, easy. Um, and next round I can, like if I live, try to replace the parrot with something good. He's not even keeping up with the shop. I don't know why I got this stupid parrot. I didn't know I was gonna get so much canned food, I guess. Um, is this the order I want stuff in? Uh, it seems fine. 
Sure. Okay, the whale's eating this thing again. Running into a... Okay, well, we killed the rooster. Or the, the monkey. That didn't really do anything. We damaged the cow. That also didn't do anything. Actually, killing his monkey was bad? Because it left room for another... Well, I don't know. It was just a 9-3. Who cares? Yeah, we win this, right? Yes. Level 2 kangaroo is not enough to survive the bison. All right, this run, I, I, I managed to turn it, turn it around just in time, it seems like. Um, hmm. Is there some way, I mean, ugh. Garlic armor is like a little late. I don't think it's helping that much on the bison. It could, could help in some worlds. Um... What is the... Does the Rhino upgrade to doing eight? Is that how that works? Tier fives. Rhino. It does do eight. So, I mean, I could buy two Rhinos and then chocolate it, right? That would be better than the Parrot. I think I should do that. I could save the chocolate in case there's something else I'd rather hit, like the leopard. Or the crocodile, maybe. Either of those might be better. Well... The only one of those I could actually upgrade right now is the rhino, right? So I guess I might as well just do this and see what I get. Presumably nothing meaningful, right? Yeah, a fly, who cares? Another crocodile is worth taking. And, um, you know, for the last match, Cupcake and Pear are pretty cool, I think. Just buff up the leopard, basically. I'd rather have melon armor, but you can't always get what you want, right? God, it would be so good, though, to put on the rhino. Are you kidding me? I think I unfreeze these. There's plenty of good food out there. Good melon armor. Thank you. Oh, wow. Nice shot, Leopard. That is actually a nice shot. Uh, excuse me? You shouldn't get to copy a 25. You should get to copy a, a, a smaller number. <laughs> But, all right, whatever. I guess I don't know the rules. Oh, no, the kangaroo survives. Oh, no, he doesn't. Take that, you loser. Oh, I, I didn't notice the tire kangaroo. Pretty nice. All right, well, last match coming up, probably. Tiger. Is there anything I would want to tiger? Enough, badly enough to sell something. I don't think so. Right? Like... Do I even buy, like, a pair or, or something for the leopard? I could. I think I'm more interested in like trying to hit a level two crocodile or cheetah, maybe. Both are pretty. Cheetah's pretty unlikely, but it could happen. Crocodile is a little more likely, but still unlikely. I don't know. I have I have seven rolls to hit one crocodile. It's not that unlikely. Oh, a rhino, huh? I mean, it would be really cool to be level three, but I'm not going to get there. I just have to keep rolling for crocodiles. 
Oh wait, I can just get the crocodile. Well, fair enough. And, um... I mean, honey, is it going to do anything? It might, like if, if, you know, if there's a draw, right? That's kind of, put honey on the last animal is kind of a fun thing to do. <clears throat> Buffing the rhino would be the other choice. If we thought that 18, 19 would be that much better than 17, 18, I don't think it will. There's a lot more worlds where honey here matters than worlds where this uh, buff matters. So I'm going to do this. I will freeze the Rhino in case we make it to the next round via a draw, which seems incredibly unlikely, especially now that I've put this on. Like, if we get to... The situation where we get to a draw is, like, there's just not much chance. I'm kind of surprised we've hung on so long. I didn't... I don't think the Bison is that gigantic, but I guess I have several large units. Ooh, this is scary. Nice shot, I guess. Take that, Penguin. All right, we made it through that guy. We're making it through this guy, right? Yeah, easy. Oh. Um. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm a genius! Oh. oh man, look at that! Here was me saying, hmm, there'll be some worlds where there's two large, two animals at the end of the match that reach each other where... Where they all have a lot of attack, but not a lot of health. And in those worlds, getting a B at the end of them both dying would win the game. Well, take that. I won the game. I'm so smart. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.